be the people who keep insisting and insisting that you separate your values from your politics. They want to create a void in you. And they know that if you allow them to create that void, that they get to fill it with whatever they want to fill it with. Whether it be rage, self-pity, hate, bigotry. And once you start listening to that, you're no longer following scripture. You're following propaganda, rhetoric, the trickery of men and their cunning and deceitful plotting. Understand this, that they could throw Daniel into that lion's den, but they could not take his faith from him. And when David faced off with Goliath, no one was going to convince him to leave his faith at home. And when the civil rights generation faced dogs and fire hoses and nooses and bullets and death, no one was going to convince them to leave their faith and their values in the pew. My people, if you truly believe there was a man that was God, that came to save the bound and the broken, that loved even the wretched of the earth, that was nailed on the cross and died for your sins and mine, and rose on the third day, then there is no way that you can step out of this building tonight and not bear witness to his good news in the public square. Yeah. There's no way. That's right. That you can walk into a voting booth without your biblical principles and standards of behavior. Yeah. Listen, if you take anything from this, take this. You do not have to separate your values from your politics. You do not have to choose between social justice and biblical values. That's a false choice. That narrative is played out. Those are lies. And so I need everyone here to do two things as soon as you leave here tonight. I need you to go get a pen and a shovel. Because you're going to have to write a eulogy and dig a grave. Because those lies, they die tonight. God bless you.